God. We are serving the living God. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone watching us and all the lovely children around the world. Praise the name of Jesus. Welcome to this second Sunday of February. It's 14th. Boys and girls, do you know what special day it is? Yes, I thought so. It's Valentine's Day. So wish your parents happy Valentine. If you can see a flower, you can give them. And this month of February, we have been learning or rather we are learning about living for God. And last Sunday, we talked about a life of thanksgiving. Throughout this week, have you been saying thank you? You know, thank you is a magic word. If you tell someone thank you, they feel good. If you're told thank you, you feel awesome. So today, we get to learn about a life of prayers. Do you pray? Does your parent pray? Do the people that you know or live around with pray? So boys and girls, prayer is very, very important. And today's story is about her mommy. Do you know what this mommy did? She prayed. She prayed to God. She prayed for something and God answered her prayers. So come with me to class as we join teacher Joan. She's going to take us through prayer. Living a life of prayer. We are serving the living God. We are serving the living God. Praise God, boys and girls. Good morning. My name is Teacher Joanne, and I've missed you so much. I hope you're all doing very well. And it's the 14th of February, so happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're, you enjoy a beautiful day full of love and happiness with your family and your friends. So today we have an interesting lesson, which is in line with the theme of the month, which is living for God. Living for God is our theme for February. And today specifically, we're going to be talking about living a life of prayer. So before we start, let's get, um, let's put our hands together so that we can start with a word of prayer. And when I want to pray, I put my hands together, I close my eyes, I bow my head, and then I pray. Almighty God, we humble ourselves before you this morning. We thank you so much for your goodness, for your kindness, for your love. Thank you for reminding us how much you love us and thank you for the lesson which you are about to hear. We pray that you may open our hearts and our minds so that we may listen from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, before we start, as I've said, we're going to do a lesson on living a life of prayer. So, we're going to sing one song. And I hope you're all going to join me from home. And the song is about living the life of prayer. And Chapaminas is going to help us. <laughs> Thank you so much to Chapaminas. And as you've heard, we need to whisper a prayer at all times of day. Have we said you whisper a prayer only at night before you sleep? Or have we said you whisper a prayer only before you eat? No. We've said we whisper a prayer in the morning, at noon, in the evening, anytime you feel like you're sad, anytime you feel like you're scared, anytime you feel like you're happy and thankful, you just whisper a prayer to God and tell him how thankful you are. If you're scared, you just whisper a prayer to him and tell him to keep you away from that kind of fear. Because I want to ask you guys a question. When you're feeling sad, who goes to the corner and sits down and starts crying? Who does that? 
I know many people will do that. But now what God is telling us is that instead of being scared, instead of being afraid, instead of being worried, let's just go to him and whisper a prayer. And in line with this, I'm going to tell you a story about one lady who was called Hannah. So let's put our hands together like this. Everybody sit down. Tell everyone in the house, shh, shh, shh. We are listening to the story about a lady called Hannah. So a long, long, long time ago, a very long time ago, in a city in a place called Rama, in that place called Rama, there was a gentleman, and that man was called Elikana. Elikana was a God-fearing man. He walked in the ways of God, and he had two wives. One wife was called Hannah, and the second wife was called Penina. So how many wives have I said? Have I said three? No, I've said Hannah and I've said Penina. So Hannah did not have a child, but Penina, the other wife, she had many children, she had sons and she had daughters. And Hannah always wanted to really have a child and she would always go to God and pray and pray. And you know what Penina would do? Penina used to mock her, she used to make fun of her because she knew that Hannah wanted children and yet she couldn't get, but Penina had them. So Hannah would go to the temple, he would go, she would go in front of God and she would just pray and pray and pray and cry. Sometimes she wouldn't even eat because of how sad she was. But she always trusted in God. So one day she went to the priest, I mean she went to the temple and she was just sitting there kneeling down and just praying. And I show you how she was praying. She was closing her eyes and she was moving her lips. So she's praying, but she's praying in her heart and her lips are moving. And then the priest looked at her and said, Ah, young lady, until when are you going to be drinking alcohol? You know what the priest thought? The priest thought she was drunk. But in real sense, Hannah was not drunk. And Hannah told the priest, Please, I am not, I am not drunk. I have not been un under the influence of anything. I am just here because I am praying very much to God and I really would like him to answer my prayer. I'm here, I'm feeling so much sadness in my heart. I'm feeling so much grief in my heart and I'm just speaking to God. And you know what the priest told her? The priest who was called Eli told her, go your way and the Lord is going to hear your prayer. When Hannah heard that, she felt, okay, she felt a bit relieved. So she stood up, she wiped herself, she wiped her tears, and she went home. And she was no longer sad, and she decided because she believes in God, and because she has prayed to God, the Lord was going to hear her. So she was no longer sad, and she just decided to live by faith. And do you know what? One day, the Lord blessed her, and the Lord blessed her with her son. And the name of the son was Samuel. Hannah was so happy and she had even made a promise to God. God, if you give me a son, I promise I'm going to take, her to, I'm going to take him to church and he's going to be dedicated there and he's going to serve you the rest of his life. And that's exactly what Hannah did. When God answered her prayer, she went and um, dedicated her son Samuel to, to God and dedicated, her, de dedicated him such that every day and all the, for the rest of his life, he was in church serving God. And do you know what this teaches us? It teaches us that if we pray, God is faithful and is going to hear us and he's going to answer our prayer. So instead of being sad all the time, instead of feeling angry, instead of feeling worried, what God is telling us is that we just go to him and close our eyes and pray and just humble ourselves and believe that he's going to answer us. And guess what? God is faithful and is going to answer our prayer. So I hope you have had this lesson and I hope you're all going to have faith and that you're all going to pray. At what time? At lunch time only? No. We're going to pray in the morning. We're going to pray at noon. We're going to pray in the evening. We're going to pray at all times. And God is faithful. He's going to answer your prayers. So thank you so much for listening to that lesson. And right now I'm going to call Gianna and Evelina to come and give us a memory verse. Welcome.
Chapter 55, verse 60, it says, I call to the Lord, and the Lord says me. Jesus loves me, yes I know. For the Bible tells me so. Lead your arms to heal me, Lord. They are weak, but He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. The Bible tells me so. Thank you. Thank you so much for that beautiful memory verse and thank you for um, listening to the lesson and I hope that you children also who are listening to this from home you're going to also um, uh, practice that memory verse it's going to be shown here on the screen everybody make sure you practice so that when we meet next time you're going to show me that you remember that memory verse thank you and I'll see you soon bye